Hello out there. Um, I'd like to share a very interesting story with you based on a phone call I received yesterday. So this person called me yesterday and said, Sir, I want to know what I can invest in. And I said to him, Okay, how much do you have? And he said, Well, I have a hundred thousand naira, but like fifty thousand naira is how much I want to invest. And I shared a few thoughts with him. And before I share with the thought I shared with him with you, let me share you the basis of the thoughts I shared with him. So once upon a time there was a farmer and his son. And this farmer realized that his son had grown up irresponsibly. He hadn't learned to work. He was always lazing around. He was the one providing for him and the family. And the farmer felt it was time to teach the son about the value of money. So he told the son, go out and work. If you don't work, you will not eat tonight. So of course the son, the first time he was going to be asked to work, cried to his mother. And said, mommy, mommy, daddy wants me to work. <laughs> and cried. And the man said, don't worry. Take this gold coin. If daddy asks you if you have earned money, give him this coin. So, of course, in the evening, daddy didn't know what happened. The evening, dad said, my son, how much did you earn today? And the son brought out the gold coin. <laughs> and the father smiled. He said, okay, take that coin, throw it into the well. And then the boy went to the well and threw the money into the well. And the father smiled. The father had observed that it's probably somebody who gave him this money. First was the mother. So, the next day, he got the mother sent on an errand to go somewhere to go and spend two days so that the mother would not be around. And then called the boy again in the morning and said, my son, it's time for you to go and walk, go and walk, no money, no food. And then the son went to meet the sister and cried to the sister as well. And the sister gave him two coins from her own savings. And the son went back and gave the father. And the father said, go and throw it into the well. And the boy took it and threw it into the well. And the father also observed again that something is wrong. Uh, somebody else must have given him the money, found out it was his sister, and sent the sister on a long journey as well, so that he can have time with this boy. And then the next day he told the son, son, no work, no money, no food, go and walk. And this time around, the boy had nobody to turn to. So he went to the market and was looking for work, hustling for work, until he found somebody who was willing for him to carry their load in exchange for payments. So he carried the load. And of course, as he carried the load, there was, you know, he perspired, there was sweat, it was agony, it was tough, his body ached, his back ached. In fact, because of the quality of the rubbish he was carrying, he developed rashes, it was really bad. After a long day's work, they gave him two, two coins. And then he went back home and his father said, where's the money from today? And he said, he had the two coins. He said, go and throw it to the well. <laughs> and the boy said, daddy, yeah, I cannot throw it to the well. Oh. My back is aching me. My, have, my back has rashes. I'm really feeling pain. I, as in, the work that I did for this money, I can't put it to the well. And the man smiled. He said, uh-huh, at last. Now you work for it. You know the value of money. Because guess what? What we don't work for doesn't really last long in our hands. It's the discipline that takes you to work that makes you know that this is valuable enough and I need to do something valuable with it. Now that was the lesson he was trying to teach his son. Of course, finally, he had passed that test. He told him, okay, I'll give you the keys to the shop and I'll guide you on how you want to work, how you want to earn, and how you want to spend and how you want to progress. So this is the, this is the basic philosophy in how wealth that comes easily goes easily. What doesn't come with sweat goes without sweat. What comes with sweat, you're likely to hold on to longer. So back to the story of my friend who called me and said he wanted to invest. I told him, the best place to invest your 50,000 Naira is in what you are doing. I asked him, what are you doing? What gave you the money in the first instance? Why don't you take that same money and try to expand what you are doing and try to grow what you are doing? Because if it costs you energy to do it, then I give yourself some leverage to do more of it. Rather than looking for somewhere to throw away your 50,000 Naira in a place where he may not come back to you, why not use it to expand the value that you're creating? Remember, what doesn't cost you doesn't stay long with you. Easy come, is easy go and the value of the real value of money is the labor and the process that you pass through to create it that will give you discipline in ensuring that you're channeling it in the right direction thank you